All right, time for another solo overnight in the woods. It dumped buckets of rain last night and everything is soaking wet. So I'm thinking it's time for a bucket list item to keep us off the ground, comfy, cozy, and warm AF. Let's get to it. It's actually a lot cooler this week. High of 50 degrees Fahrenheit and low of 29 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm actually loving that. So this tree that I'm leaning against right here, if you look right over here, there's one more. And it overlooks the rock face, which is a beautiful backdrop, and this creek right here. So I'm thinking I do a bucket list item. I want to do my version of a do-it-yourself tent platform. You see those with kind of like a A-frame style tent, and it's supported from the top. And the tent goes up like a Snoopy tent, and the bottom has a platform that you sleep on, and it kind of suspends you know, a couple of feet off the ground. Looks kind of cool. Um, I was thinking, you know what? Why not do something like that? So here we are. Let's go over here, get our wood, talk through it, and get her done. Here's the method to the madness right here. I'm going to stop for a moment and actually explain this because every time I make one of these beds, somebody says, the bed should be flipped. The weight's on the lash. So that you fully understand that there's no weight on the lash, I'm going to walk you through it. We have a horizontal here and there that creates our stretcher bed. We have a headboard and a footboard. Now the headboard and footboard are going to be suspended from the tree. So anything pulling down, when I tighten it upwards, it would be raised up and there won't be any stress on those poles. Now we have our stretcher bed on top of that. My body weight will push down. Log cabin notch here, log cabin notch here. Being pulled upward, being pushed downward. They stay together and they're locked in place. Simple yet effective.
So clove hitch on that tree right in front of me, clove hitch to the one behind me, then I have two pigtails that I can tie off to that longer horizontal that we talked about. And the brake strength is 1800 PSI, so it should work out well. As always, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon Influencer page, and two, my Self-Reliance Outfitters Influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. We have the clove hitch, and we have the rope tackle trucker's hitch here and here. And you see, one's longer than the other. So now it's simply just manipulating it. I'll lengthen this one, it should bring it up a little bit, and we'll just tweak it until we get her level. I added a toggle right here because this line is extra long until I wrap it I don't want to step on it and risk pulling that loop all the way through so right now if I pull on it it's not gonna go anywhere so for the rope tackle go around the tree I'm gonna twist this piece right here towards the tree lay it down pull it through creates a slip loop right there I'm just gonna simply feed this one through that slip slip loop and then pull it back towards my tree it will tighten up look like this now we're going to pinch the loop and our line together we drape it over reach inside and pull it through towards my hand and then tighten her up and there you go
If you like what you see here, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you're in the bell, please select all notifications. Then take it a step further, grab your cell phone, download the free YouTube app, and sign in. This will give you push notifications when my new videos drop. If you cut them in these small one to two inch pieces and then you seal it off with duct tape, imagine if you will, peeling a small tail up like this and lighting that on a fire so that the duct tape burns down and you have a perfect wet weather fire starter. Outstanding AF. Boom! Take that, MacGyver. Oh man, heavenly AF. Oh, deep eating like this might get there faster than I thought. God, this is perfect. Mm. Get you all in a few. So, so simple, it's stupid. Put water in there, boil it, all the crap comes off of it, dump it somewhere, or just take it, stick it in the fire, and burn it. You guys seen the char both sides before, and it's sterilized and it's good for the next time. Um, nothing crazy with that. So the shelter we'll talk about tomorrow, um, I'm happy with that. It's my take, a do-it-yourself tree tent or tent platform in the woods. Why well, spend three to six hundred dollars? Some of them are like a thousand dollars, and I just spent a good hour, hour and a half. If you couldn't find the wood, had to go collect it. It'd probably be two or three hours, but in the end, 
you got something that you can be proud of. So, yeah, tree tent in the woods. So as soon as the dishes are done, the water boils, I'll take them out. Um, in the meantime, I'll answer a question that I keep getting over and over again. And that question is, where can I find land to do skills? And here's the answer. Unless you own land or know somebody with land, you're not going to find land to do skills. Um, my advice would be start in your backyard. Then pay for a campsite for the night. There's something called dispersed camping. Google that. Dispersed camping. It's all over the United States. Um, you can find a campsite that's out in the woods. And some places, they don't care if you collect wood. You can hang a tarp, hang a hammock, um, camp on the ground, use a tent. Most of the time you got to park somewhere and walk a mile or two to those locations, but they're kind of cool. Some of them are on creeks or on uh, rivers or even on lakes, um, but you can get out there for the night and practice those skills. Do not go out there, trespass, go on state land, state parks, and conduct illegal activities. It's reckless, it's stupid, and what happens is it ruins it for everybody else. So, get off my soapbox. That's my two cents. Let's go over here and check our dishes. So here we are, we're inside of our do-it-yourself tree tent in the woods. I'm liking this. We got our stretcher bed that's elevated into a frame or incorporated into a frame and tied off using rope tackles or trucker hitch on all four corners and then our clove hitch to that tree. So I'm happy with this. Get that heat from our fire, gotta stoke that bad boy up, get that heat pumping inside here. It'd be a good night. So. On that note, catch you on the morning. <sighs> Zero dark thirty. So it's about that time. <sighs> Tree tent life. Now that thing sucks. <sighs> there we go. Still overnight, building a do-it-yourself tree tent in the woods. Corporals rock a -bye. With that, all the gear in my videos can be found in two places. One, my Amazon influencer page, and two, my Self-Alliance Outfitters influencer page. If you're interested in Corporal's Corner merchandise, that can be found on Teespring. All three links are found inside my description box. Now, please do me that favor. Hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. If you're out in the field, have some fun. I'm going to catch you next time. So some free information for those that stuck around to the very end. If you can't get a hold of one of these bed sleeves from Tent Smiths, all you gotta do is find two 55 gallon drum liners that are six mil in thickness, not millimeter, mil, M-I-L. You can find those on Amazon or at like Lowe's and Home Depot. Do the exact same thing. Cut the ends off, slide the poles in, stretch those bad boys, and you're in business.